Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Talking is risky. You could bore. Think of how often you find someone boring. You could self-aggrandize. Think of how often you think talkers are full of themselves. You could drain the other person's motivation to act. The more of a conversation's energy that you suck up, the less there is for the other person. In a conversation aimed at a solution, if your conversation partner is doing most of the talking, aren't you less likely to be invested in the solution, falling prey to the not-invented-here syndrome? Of course, not talking enough imposes liabilities. You lose agency. You don't want to be a flimsy sail blown around by others bloviating. You lose the opportunity to be impressive. Good ideas, humor, and empathy are not easily demonstrated in silence. The clarifying effect of verbalizing. You lose that as well. Explaining clarifies, hence the adage that the teacher learns as much as the student. You lose the pleasure of self-expression. Most people enjoy expressing themselves. Those benefits and liabilities form the basis for what I call the 2040 rule. Speak a little less than your share. For example, in a two-person conversation, talk 20 to 40 percent of the time. In a four-person conversation, 10 to 20 percent. Of course, that'll vary with the situation. How knowledgeable you are on the topic, the characteristics of your conversation partner, and your motivation. Do you care more to impress or to empower? Alas, while my verbose clients acknowledge the talk rules wisdom, they can't often enough make themselves adhere to it. Their circumspection gets trumped by one or more of the following. Obliviousness to dominating the conversation. If that's you, it may help to pay attention to signs from your listener. Are they interrupting, sighing, looking away, angling away, tapping or shaking their hands, or even more likely their feet because they don't think you're noticing their feet? unwillingness to restrain your desire to self-express. Here are some possible fixes. Consider those that the aforementioned liabilities of being verbose. Or, follow the traffic light rule. During the first 30 seconds of an utterance, your light's green. In the second 30 seconds, it's yellow. The aforementioned risks are increasing. After 60 seconds, the benefit of continuing to talk usually are outweighed by the advantage of shutting up or asking a question. If the person wants to know more, they can ask, and they rarely will. It may also help to think of a conversation not as a series of lecturettes, but as more of a ping-pong game. The ball quickly goes from side to side. Think of top TV and radio interviews. They're an exchange. Good interviewees' answers range from just 10 to 60 seconds. Another um, reason that uh, verbose clients can fail to follow the uh, the 2040 rule is to be un that they're unwilling to restrain their desire to impress. Realize that your overt efforts to impress are at least as likely to disempower your conversation partner, at least as likely to engender de jealousy, and at least as likely to portray you as a show-off. Your abilities will seep through organically and without risk if you just make brief, modest statements, carefully listen, and paraphrase your conversation's partner's statements. Another reason that people violate the 2040 rule is that they assume that what they're saying is interesting to the listener. We're usually more interested in our own interests than in others. The issue is how much less interested is your conversation partner? Stay vigilant. Ask yourself, is my listener likely to be interested in this? Even if you ask directly, you may not get an honest answer. People are polite. After all, when someone's talking at you and ask you if it's interesting, how likely are you to say no? So better to just stay vigilant yourself and self-censor. And finally, the inability to be concise. A lot of people don't follow the 2040 rule because they literally try to talk their way from muddle into clarity. It may help to follow the aforementioned traffic light rule or to tell only part of your story, part of your idea in one utterance. Say just a bit and shut up or ask a question such as, what do you think of that or should I say more? Look, I know, following the 2040 rule, the traffic light rule, they, they, they're, they're great. I mean, they're great bond, they create bonds, they provide more learning opportunities, and they increase your potential for influence. 
Alas, as with so much self-improvement advice, it is easier to dispense than to implement. And I have to admit to often violating both rules, but they are goals worth aspiring to. I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or, if appropriate, a thumbs down. Write a comment. Hit the share button below and share on your social media and or subscribe to my channel. And again, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.